What's going on guys, Firefrost Tech here, showing you guys the new 2018 MacBook Pro base model. This is the Space Gray 2.2 GHz version. This is Apple's latest release in their MacBook lineup. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this and show you guys a quick start of this unit. So this is, of course, the base model. So it starts at $2,400. And uh, basically we got all the details of the new uh, MacBook Pro listed in the back here. Um, so let's go ahead and open this box up. So I've got my here, my trusty knife here. I'm just gonna peel this open really nice. And uh, similar Apple fashion, the boxes are very high quality. I really do like their design quality in their boxes. And um, let's go ahead and tear this package out. It's a very um, heavy package. All right, so I got the packaging out. I like the MacBook Pro picture right in the front. It's really nice. All right, box came out very easily. And uh, here we have it. Again, the space gray color, beautiful finish, and it's uh, wrapped in the uh, protective cover, so we just lift this up. Okay, let me put this on the side real quick. And uh, right inside the box, we have our accessories here. So over here, we have our USB Type-C connectors. This is pretty much how we're gonna charge the laptop as well as connecting it, connecting it to the uh, actual power outlet. So right over here, we have our power adapter. Again, this is where the USB Type-C port comes into play. Um, I really do prefer this because if you ever lose this cable, you can easily replace it um, for very cheap instead of having to buy uh, another replacement for this uh, actual thing here. And uh, inside here we have our basic booklet here that comes with all the information of the MacBook Pro, startup guides, and all that good details. And our infamous Apple stickers, always giving us two. And uh, besides that, that's pretty much it for the box. I'm gonna put these away and show you guys what we came here for. Okay, so here we have the Space Gray. 15 inch MacBook Pro. Let's go ahead and take this plastic out. I'm gonna be very careful here. Very satisfying. Let's pull it right out. Love the finish. It's definitely, for the size, it definitely feels lightweight. Let's go ahead and place it down nice and carefully and let's go ahead and open this up. All right, nice. We got our protective cover right over here, as you can see. Let's go ahead and take that out. And immediately once we turn on the, actually open it up, it automatically boots up, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at the finish here. Again, nice clean design, I'm loving it a lot. Very huge trackpad, as we can see right over here. Uh, very nice keyboard layout. And as you can see, this is the Touch ID I'm sorry, the uh, touch bar. And um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pretty much set this up real quick. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so after the quick setup guide, um, had you pretty much sign into your Apple ID and set up your touch ID as well as Apple Pay. So I already have that all set up. As we can see, we have our main screen here, a very massive 15.4 inch display. We have 2880 by 1800 native resolution. Um, so really good retina display as you, can, as you know Apple makes really good displays um, I'm really liking the layout of, out, of it and um, I like the whole clean design you get a very large trackpad and you have your two speakers right over here and um, let's go ahead and open up the uh, Safari browser definitely opens up very quick and uh, what I like about the touch bar is that it aligns with any application you pretty much use as long as it's supported. So right over here, I have my favorites and uh, we have Apple over here. So we pretty much click down on the touch bar and automatically uh, takes you to Apple. I really love that feature a lot. Um, let's go ahead and uh, lock the screen here and show you around the actual iP the MacBook Pro. So closing it, very nice and solid. And as we can see here, again, very massive laptop, but um, it's fairly very slim and um, definitely see this being a very portable solution. So right on the left side of the MacBook Pro, we have two USB Type-C connectors here. 
And um, right on the back here, we have ventilations and the fans. And uh, right on the right side, we have two additional USB Type-C ports, as well as a three and a half millimeter head jack. I know a lot of guys uh, complain about um, not having the uh, Type-A connectors to put old USB, but honestly, um, at this point, there's so many dongles in the market right now that it's actually becoming more convenient having a form factor like this. So um, pretty much it's gonna be very obsolete. A lot of new laptops are coming out, coming out with just a Type-C connector. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the laptop. So I set up the Touch ID and uh, let's see how that works. So as we can see, the computer is locked and right over here, it tells you to unlock it with your Touch ID. So I'm gonna lock it with my fingerprint and as you can see, it opens up very nice and very smoothly. Very, really love that feature. Now the good news about this uh, MacBook is that um, it becomes with so much power over the previous that it pretty much outperforms the old MacBook Pro by a lot. So going to Geekbench, which pretty much benchmarks many devices we can see here um, the chartings with the actual macbook pro and uh, we can see here that the macbook pro which is the 2018 version and uh, over here I have the base model so let's go ahead and find out right here um, let's see here 15 inch okay so as you can see here we have um, the 15 inch mid 2018 so this is the model that's being displayed here it has the Intel core i7 six cores 2.2 gigahertz clock speed and we can see here that it pretty much uh, almost performs just as well as the late 2017 iMac pro and it outperforms all these previous models over here even even like a very high maxed macbook pro from last year and as you can see here only a few models um, outperform it now when we go to the multi-core uh, we could definitely see a huge difference here. So you can see here the the MacBook Pro, the model that I have, which is 2.2, with six cores, pretty much outclasses a lot of these Apple devices, which used, pretty much cost a lot more money than what you pay for this one. So I love that a lot. Again, you have six cores, so that's why it's doing very well in that score. Um, again, this was just a general unboxing and a quick start showing you guys how the MacBook Pro looks like. Uh, for future videos, please, subscribe. I'm going to be demonstrating more accessories on this and hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, quick unboxing. Till next time.